After months of emails, I finally received the deposit for a new commission. This was an unusual request. They wanted me to repaint one of my old paintings from college. Even though I lived in California at the time, I still enjoyed painting rainy scenes. Of course, now that I live in Portland, I have plenty of rain around for inspiration. I was mostly repainting my old painting, but I also found my original photo and worked from that as well. The file even shows that the date the photo was taken was in 2003. It's pretty amazing I've been painting that long. And this was a really fun experiment in painting an old painting. I started painting the darks first, and because most of the painting is a reflection in the sidewalk, the darkest parts are going to be at the top of the painting, because the reflections are going to be slightly lighter than the actual color of the object. While I was laying in the initial reflections in the sidewalk, I used an Egbert brush, which is like a filbert, only the bristles are much longer. This brush is very helpful for laying in a bunch of color, keeping the look very loose, and the bristles are a little bit thicker, so it does tend to add a little bit more texture to the paint. I worked on this painting over several days and I had a deadline, so I really had to get it done quickly. It took between 40 and 50 hours to complete this painting. The plan for this painting is that they're actually gonna scan it and make a much larger print of it that's going to occupy a giant wall in the lobby of a brand new hotel. Althea is not a fan of the rain. As I'm slowly getting back into a more regular art practice, this was a really exciting commission to get because it was actually my first oil painting in a couple years. I've mostly been painting with gouache, and I started doing marker art. The experience of using oil again invigorated my soul and reminded me what an important part of my life this is, and it made me so happy to have it back in my life. say for sure what I'll be painting next, but one thing I'm absolutely certain of is I will definitely be painting some more. Even though this painting is mostly grays and blues, there's a wide range of variety. I try to mix each section individually so that nothing is really exactly the same. I'd like to take a moment to thank my patrons for supporting my channel and helping to keep the paint flowing and the cameras rolling. I tend to work in a wet on wet style where I put one color down and then I'll put another color and blend them together on the canvas to create the gradient that I'm looking for.
I'd like to mention with the photo that I was using, I take thousands of photographs. I'll just go out in the rain and take a whole bunch of photos and sometimes you get lucky, like in this case where I just happen to get a really good shot with some people in it. A lot of times in the rain, it's hard to get shots with people in it because there's not that many people out. Let's talk about the color scheme for this painting. I am a huge fan of bright, bold colors, but when it's raining, the colors actually aren't very saturated. Most people think of gray when they think of rainy days. But one of the great things, as many photographers know, is on gray, cloudy days, you actually get a very even light. So you can see the native color of each item, like a building or a clothing item. And so in my painting, I'm able to see those native colors and I just like to amplify them a little bit. This is almost an analogous color scheme revolving around blues. When I finish the painting, maybe you can figure out what colors are missing. I'm painting this bush in a light green. It's kind of a bit of a bright green. I actually went back and changed it later because I didn't feel like it went with the color scheme and I felt like it was attracting the eye too much. So I actually went back and muted the colors quite a bit. Okay, I'm running out of time. I'm gonna definitely have to step it up to finish this painting in time. One of the unique things about this painting was back when I painted it many years ago, I used to paint much looser than I do now. I started painting in a very photorealistic style over the last few years. And so trying to do this replica of an older painting, I had to really loosen up from what I'm used to. And it was something that I had to kind of keep reminding myself, oh yeah, I'm painting quickly on this one. I started this painting by doing the more complicated things first. So at, towards the end, as I was running out of time, I really only had the reflections and the sidewalk to finish.
want to learn more about color theory and limited palettes, click this video. Okay, I was just joking. That video's not out yet, so for now, you can watch this how to make a color wheel video.